The U.S. federal debt is fast approaching $20 trillion. As alarming as that figure is to economists and lawmakers, the amount is too astronomical for the average people to understand. So to make some sense of the size of the problem, we at HowMuch.net decided to scale down the revenues to the ins and outs of a single household. For example, the U.S. tax revenue of $3.37 trillion can be translated into an annual family income of $32,670. The U.S. federal government outlays of $3.85 trillion will become the amount of money our family spent, $38,540. Now we get a new U.S. federal government debt of $587 billion, which can be translated into a new debt on the credit card of $5,870. U.S. federal government gross debt is now $19.33 trillion. This represents the outstanding balance on the credit card, $193,338. And finally, budget cuts. Judging from the noise politicians make about them, these budget cuts are the difference between economic ruin and national salvation. But in reality, they only amount to $24,325,000. Translate that to our average family, and this is a cutback on their annual expenses by just $243. Compared to how much they spend and how much they owe, that's peanuts. Yet the U.S. government keeps borrowing and borrowing. A family who tried to make its way out of a financial hole by digging an even deeper hole, which is what the U.S. government is doing, would probably get by in the short term, but eventually, if you spend more than you earn, somebody else will end up owning your house.